I'm not allowed to play with my hair all throughout this, okay? So I'm re-recording this because my last try was... It, it made me sad <laughs> while I was editing it. But I redid my makeup and I did some jumping jacks and hopefully this one will be better. Hopefully. So in your last video you had some people ask me questions and I really wanted to answer a couple of those. So Emerson has two different aspects to its theater program, sort of. Not like the educational program, but the program that it brings to the students. Um, so there's Arts Emerson, which is the professional productions that come to perform on our stages. And then there's Emerson Stage, which is the student performances. Have you ever noticed that I never say any definitive statements like, they all just sort of trail off into one another. A lot like this one. So for my languages at the stage class, I get to see two productions. Um, I'm required to. One was Delusion, and that happened on Tuesday. I had to miss Glee for it. Um, it was very interesting. Anyway, it was very interesting because it is an experience rather than a show. So Delusion is um, one woman on stage with a violin, a synthesizer, and a keyboard, and four projectors, and four screens. So the text is nonlinear, and then she wanders around playing the violin, and the music is nonlinear. It was a very intriguing piece. Note, I did not use the word interesting. Uh, what's next is um, a show called Mabu Mind's Dollhouse, which I have been expressly forbidden to research. And I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, that was a definitive statement. So for Emerson Stage, they are putting on a series of, of shows this 2011-2012 season. Um, and they include Cloud Nine, Paraffin and Nursing, which I don't know anything about, Robin Hood, She Loves Me, which I do like, um, X Dance, which is an experimental dance event that I can't actually audition for, but I am definitely going to see. And then uh, something called Twilight, semicolon, Los Angeles 1992, which I have no idea what it is. Um, also something called New Fest 2012, which I think is like Village Originals, where they bring a bunch of new musicals and plays together and perform them, possibly staged readings, I don't know. And then something called Cafe Variations all of which I'm very excited to see. But in addition to the school-run programs, there's also dozens of student organizations um, that do theater and dance and singing and all sorts of things. And I auditioned for a student-run dance company. Like, we have our own dance company. It's called Emerson Dance Company. And then I was gonna audition for the Spirit Squad, but then those two auditions overlapped and my mind just imploded. On the subject of studio dorms, I personally think that's the best idea ever because then you would be at Emerson. Just saying. I was gonna go and put on my rehearsal skirt and swish it around and be like, I have a rehearsal skirt too. But I left it at home. So you have the Saturday video. Oh, I need to do that. I need to do Babity Rabbity. Little why have you so disturbed my aching birds? Now I need to think of a pun. A stump pun. Kitty, you need to think of some stump puns. Terrified, Babbity Rowdy tried quickly to apologize. I excuse me, I didn't I didn't see you there, she stammered. But the stump just smiled in that odd way that stumps smile and said, Oh little newt, why have you so disturbed my aching roots? I was quite content to sit in my little corner of the wood and contemplate my lost youth. But then you trampled all over my best thinking route. She trailed off, staring vacantly through Babbity Rabbity, and then, all of a sudden, began to laugh. A slimy, choking cackle that made her... Tag! You're it.